Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create those business cards inside Microsoft Word. And while the design is very simple, we will do it in a way that will really be pretty dynamic so you will be able to change anything very easily. So this is like the front page of our business cards. There is also the back page which only shows the symbol V. So this is what we want to achieve. So let's get started. I will start in the blank document and usually I use the page sized A4 which is a standard size for Europe. But just because this is like the US version of the tutorial, I will start with the page sized letter, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. And the business card size varies a lot, but what's usually the size used is 3.5 uh, by 2 inches. So that's what we will stick with. So inside the document, I will draw a new shape. So insert shape, and that will be a rectangle. And this rectangle will be sized 3.5 by 2 inches. So instead, inside format, I will set this height to be 2 inches. And, and the width to be three and a half inches. So I've almost made it the right size. For now, I will set the fill to no fill and I can keep the blue color, that's perfectly fine. What I want to achieve is to make sure that this rectangle is aligned with this first character. So I will select the rectangle, right click and select more layout options and set the horizontal position to be zero inches based on the column and vertical to be zero inches based on the paragraph. So if I click OK and zoom in, you will see that there is this blinking cursor and really over the top of this cursor is this rectangle. So what I want to achieve is once I will, you know, do something in there, I want to copy everything and press the enter key and paste it. Now I want to paste it in the way that it will always be aligned next to the previous one. So as you can see, based on the line spacing, it's pretty hard to get this thing aligned. If I quickly show the invisible characters for the paragraph, you can see I do have a lot of, you know, enter keys pressed, but it's still it's still impossible to me to align it properly. I can of course just grab this and make sure that it's aligned, but for now that's too much work for me. I want some easier solution. So I will delete this one and I will also delete all the enter keys. And what I can do is I can select everything and set the line spacing. So inside the paragraph options, I will open the line spacing options dialog and set the no spacing before and after, but the line spacing to be exactly at same value. And I don't know what the value should be because this is in points. So let's try to, you know, put in some value. So let's try 100. So if I set this to 100, you can immediately see that there is a bigger spacing, but even if I select this, press it, you know, that's, that's not enough. So we need to know how much do we want to set the line spacing to be exactly two inches? In order to find this out, I will quickly jump to the file options. And in here, I will in the advanced, I will change the units to be points. So display units points. And now when I select this rectangle, I can see that the height of the rectangle is 144 points. Now this is not a secret number. If I run a calculator you can see 144 divided by 2 inches is 72 which is usually considered to be a default ppi or pixel per inch resolution i'll probably record a different tutorial let's not go into the details right now let's just remember that 144 should be the line spacing for our paragraphs before i do anything i will jump back to options and change the units to be inches of course so units should be inches for now okay so i will select everything open the paragraph spacing, line spacing options, and set this to be 144. Now it's kind of strange that there is you know, some uh, spacing before and after, but if I select everything and copy paste it, you will see that everything is aligned properly next to each other. So that's perfectly fine, that's what we want. The other thing is that if I zoom out, you can see I can fit four business cards, you know, but there is still a space on the right side of the, of the page, so I can probably have two columns. So I will select everything, and in the layout, I will select columns to have two columns. And now everything is almost perfect, except there is a little bit of gap in between. Or, or is there a gap? It's, it's hard to tell. Let's just make sure that everything is set properly. So the size is three and a half inches by two inches. And the page size is eight and a half by 11 inches. So for the left and right uh, margins, it should be eight and a half minus seven, which is one and a half divided by two is 0 0.75. So I will set the margins to custom margins. You can see I cannot set margins if I have set anything selected. So I have to just click somewhere else, not have any object selected. And now I can open the custom margins and the left 
should be 0 0.75 and right should be 0 0.75 as well so now the margins are right but somehow those two rectangles are not close to each other and that's because for the columns i have opened the columns more columns the spacing is set to some value i will set the spacing to zero and now everything should be aligned properly now if you want also the top and bottom margins to be the same it's easy as well so it's two inches uh, tall times four is eight inches and the paper size is 11 so 11 minus eight is of course three inches so the top and bottom margins should be set to one and a half inches so again custom margins top should be one and a half and the bottom should be one and a half as well okay so now everything should be centered precisely on the page which is exactly what we want so this will be our base shape we can get rid of all those elements except for the first one for the first rectangle and instead of just typing in there you know something it will be kind of hard because the line spacing is so big i will actually draw a new text box so insert a new text box insert shapes text box it takes a while to load this menu for me and i will draw this text box and type in of course my name which is Václav Krejčí. I don't know what I am, maybe war designer, perhaps. I will write my email address. I don't want this to be changed to email, so no hyperlink. And my phone number, which is maybe this one, maybe not. Okay, so for the font, I quite like what the font fabric is doing. And they actually provide a samples of their fonts. So if you open the font fabric, and browse fonts, free fonts. You can download some of the fonts, at least a few of the styles. It doesn't have all the characters, but it should be fine for now. And I will go probably go with the Chaplin one. I kind of like this one. So Chaplin. I guess I already have this installed, so I'll just jump into my document and change the font to be Chaplin. And not this, not this medium, but Chaplin Extra Light. Okay. I will remove the line spacing, so no line spacing. I will make this a little bit bigger, my name, of course, and I, I don't need to show those invisible characters anymore. They are not, so they are not distracting. I will, maybe this word designer should be bold, so I will change this to Chaplin Medium. Then I will enter a new line and make this a little bit bigger and this contact information a little bit smaller just so it fits on one line. Now you can see I've added a character, a little tab, tab in here. So this is a tab. It's unintentional, but since I have it here, I can probably enter a new tab. So I will right uh, left click this one to change this to right tab and just add this to the ruler. So the phone is right aligned. And I can probably change this, the, the colors. Before I do this, I will select this uh, text box and in the format, I will change the fill to no fill and outline to no outline. Then I will change the color theme so inside the design I will change the colors to maybe blue green and I don't know did I have the uh, different colors for my labels probably not okay so I haven't actually had the colored um, you know text so I will just keep it there but what I did had was the this hexagon because just because I like hexagon so I will draw a new hexagon insert shapes hexagon once it's load, load it. Okay, and I will draw a new hexagon like this. And I will change the shape fill color to maybe this, this blue, could be this one, no outline. Maybe it was a different one, I don't know. Any color is fine. And what I probably want is just to copy paste this text box and only keep the letter V. Make this text box a little bit smaller make this center aligned a little bit bigger like this and font color to be white and I have just double double checked my my sample uh, business cards and I've actually used the different color team I actually used this green yellow and for the fill I believe I've used this one. Yeah, this was the color used for the fill. So inside the format shape fill, I've used this color. Now this is kind of distracting color for the rectangle. So I will change the outline to be very light gray, like maybe even this one. And I guess I'm fine with the result. So I'll make this a little bit smaller like this. So we have one business card. Now 
the next steps are very very easy just because we have everything set up this way i can just select everything like this jump to the next you know next line and just paste it and it's not working as expected i'm, I'm getting this rectangle in here so i will just try to select it one more time now if i press the enter key hmm, it's moving so it's kind of strange but the rectangle is here and there is another one here maybe i have two rectangles maybe i'll get rid of one and for this one i will change the outline to gray so that was that was a problem maybe if i've accidentally haven't deleted one of those rectangles now it should be fine now when i select everything and just paste it yeah it's working of course when something like this happens it's the best way to just select the selection pane and you will see how many objects you have so i will zoom out and just keep pressing the Control v on my keyboard just to you know paste this business card as many times as i want now for the back side i will paste only one business card i will zoom in a little bit and i will actually get rid of this big text box and center this one on the business card like this the background should be green as well so in the format i will change the shape fill to be blue as well as this text should be blue so the text fill should be bluish green whatever it call this color is and i will probably open the selection pane to select the hexagon and set the fill to be white so shape fill should be white now i have the back part of the uh, business card and i can do the same trick as for the front part so i will select everything like this and just keep pasting and what i don't like is that those rectangles has white outline or very gray outline it may cause trouble when trying to print this because you know it will not be perfectly aligned so i will change the outline to be no outline and it may still cause trouble because this is the very same size as the front part so if it's not perfectly aligned it may actually you may actually see white border so i will solve this by creating a new one more rectangle so insert shapes rectangle when it's loaded and i will draw this a little bit bigger than all the business cards change the fill to our color no outline and send this to back this way we'll make sure that everything will be on the back side everything will be really filled with the color and that's it that's how you create your own business cards inside microsoft word now of course when it goes to printing you have to have a printer which supports printing off on both pages and when you have the printer which supports printing off both pages you will go to file print and in here you will select i want to print this on both sides flip on the long edge yeah this will be the right option for you and that's it thanks for watching